So now in this video we're going to look at the 741 op amp short circuit protection which I think is really cool so I decided to just make an extra video on it but I was trying to research how much the 741 op amp how much current it can output and it was kind of tricky to to find that number because they give you mostly a short circuit uh, protection time depending on which data sheet you look at uh, from which manufacturer it'll either say like indefinite or infinite or something like that so I think you can short circuit the output uh, forever so to begin with let's look at the setup we have and I'm gonna go over this circuit in more detail coming up but at the rails here we have 18 volts so I have a cheap bench power supply it can output up to 18 volts up to 3 amps you can lower either of those and uh, we have 18 volts at the rail it's only a single power supply so that's why I have this uh, 741 op amp here wired the way I do we have a halfway point here so this is wired as a rail splitter so coming to the uh, positive this is our ground now whatever load we do it's gonna come to this point and it can either the other side of the load can either come from the positive rail for 9 volts across it or from the uh, negative rail for negative 9 volts across it so we're gonna go over that circuit probably next video but in an upcoming video so in any case that's uh, the voltage let's look at how much current so normally you don't want to short circuit the output before I went to milliamps here we're gonna just do milliamps in this video to save time but first I measured amps because my bench power supply can only output a maximum of three amps and I can even lower that so I think I set it to like one amp to uh, be safe at first and uh, we got a fraction of an amp with when I had it set to uh, 20 amps so I knew it was less than 200 milliamps so we're just gonna go right to 200 milliamps you want to be careful measuring current if you're not a hundred percent sure let's see if I can get that focus if you're not a hundred percent sure that you're not running too much current so right now we're gonna measure this this is our ground reference point so we should put the uh, black black meter the uh, black probe of the meter right there and first we'll go to the positive side and now you can see we got 33 milliamps of current and the uh, 741 op amp is limiting that there we go now let's do the same measurement over here so normally you won't want to short circuit you won't want to measure current from an output but I already know from the data sheet that it uh, has short circuit protection where it limits current and so from the negative rail we're getting a negative 20 milliamps so that's the one I'm most interested in right now because uh, I have LEDs of course so we can just plop these LEDs directly into here and since we're only sourcing current that's when the output is more positive than the other side of the uh, power supply so it's the source you think of current going positive to negative even though now we know electrons move negative to positive but for so long they thought current went positive negative that uh, that's how we normally talk about current if you want to talk about electrons you talk about electron flow but uh, I'm just gonna stop thinking of this as ground and think of it as a positive output but here you can see it limits the uh, current that it sources to 20 milliamps and we we saw that without an LED now we'll put another one in series they're forward biased which means uh, if you don't already know the LED only conducts when the longer lead here is more positive and the shorter lead is more negative long lead is the anode short lead is the cathode there's also a flat edge on a lot of LEDs to indicate the uh, cathode but yeah we're putting them in uh, series so we're connecting them end to end so the current has to flow through that one then that one and then that one and then through the meter and then to ground but the main takeaway is it's holding at uh, 20 milliamps and when it's going to the uh, negative rail from the output when it goes positive it's it's higher there's 
about uh, 34 milliamps of current, which is more than you want to put through an LED. But it's holding pretty steady. Now we got a fifth one. So we're dealing with 9 volts, but it doesn't output uh, all the way to the rails. So it's better to work with uh, lower voltages. But there you can see now it dropped down to 2.1. So it doesn't hold that uh, current, obviously, uh, through any load. If the load limits the current more than the than uh, 20 milliamps it's going to be less than that based on the voltage across it the resistance and everything voltage drops but uh, the main takeaway is the 741 op amp has short circuit protection you don't have to worry about short circuiting the output this is just the output we're talking about and so uh, I think that's really cool I don't know how many other op amps have that and so don't just do this with any op amp. Make sure and check the data sheet and see what it says about short circuit protection. But uh, I think that's really cool. It has that protection.